Hi, I'm Brandon with Moto Camps, and I'm going to show you how to set up our quick deploy shower awning. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is walk over to the passenger side of the vehicle and you'll see a bail clip, bail pin right here. And we'll just connect that and just set that right there out of the way for a minute. And then on this side, you'll have another bail pin that helps that keeps it from rotating. So we're just going to go ahead and undo that bail pin, but hold on to this one. So as we swing it around, about parallel to the edge of the tent, and then you'll find that you can slide that bail pin back in. And this way it just secures it from rotating around while you're setting up. So once we have this kind of locked into position, go ahead and unzip the protective cover. And I like to roll it up to the top. So that way it's just kind of out of the way. There it goes. And then you'll locate the, the two red stays here. And we're going to undo those and just let it drop freely. So once we have uh, that done, we can go ahead and pull out the arms and you'll hear them click when they go into position. So this one is a little tighter, so you just pull on it and then you'll hear it click when it's in position. So you can access the shower awning from the corners of the shower. Um, typically, if you want to secure it, this would be the point to do it then. You can go in and use our, our quick deploy or quick screw in uh, anchors and anchor in those corners, but more than likely you probably won't need to. the shower awning. There's an access panel. And we can just zip that open and you can roll it up. So that way you can access the, where the, uh, the shower is on the trailer. And then you'll want to have the key for the shower door. And you'll reach through and undo the shower and then unwind the shower head. So once you have that, you'll want to feed it through in between the top of the shower enclosure and the awning body. Then you will take the shower head and affix it to the Velcro straps. So that way you can just lock it in place and you're ready to go. You can kind of twist through there. There is a roof to the shower. You can just undo this, um, these uh, buckles there and unroll this out like so. And fix to the corners. And there's Velcro straps underneath here to tie them into the location. I typically just do the end too, but if it's a real windy day, you might want to do the other ones. Okay, so once you have your shower set up, and you're ready to take a shower. Of course, we'll want to go ahead and zip this down so that way you got a nice privacy spot. And then you'll go over here to the hot water heater and open the door. So that way you can make sure it's all set correctly. You'll want the gas to max and then the water to max. And then once you have the hot water set, go ahead and turn on your gas. Back here in the galley is where the master switch panel is located. And you want to turn on the water pump, which is the second switch from the front. All right, so once you're done uh, and you're ready to put the shower away, uh, the first thing that you're going to want to do is go ahead and turn off the water pump, turn off the gas, and then that way you can go ahead and uh, start putting away the shower head. And then you'll want to undo the Velcro straps and bring the shower back. And typically what I'll do is just make sure 
that the water's off and drain the lines. So then we'll want to wrap this up and just kind of be patient with it. It'll go right in there and then close it up. and rotate it to lock it. Then what we'll want to do is go ahead and put the, the roof away first. We're going to go ahead and do that with the undoing the Velcro. I'm just going to let that drop in front of me. As I roll it up and using these toggles to secure it in place. So once you have the roof uh, stowed away and make sure that you close the inside window and you want to go ahead and zip close the corners in the shower awning as well. That way it's completely zipped up. Now you'll want to do this as you're looking at the shower. You want to close the right arm and then the left arm. Up on the arm there is a little lever. You just depress that lever and it'll release the arm. And then same thing with the other side. There's a, a little lever right here. And once you depress that, you can close this arm as well. Make sure that the roof is kind of tucked away there. And then I like to pull the red straps up over the top. All you're gonna do is roll this up nice and tight. So I like to kind of pull it out here a little bit. And once I get the first turn on it, I'll go ahead and tuck these little straps in so that way they kind of get captured with the uh, as you roll it roll it up strap in the, uh, the red straps and then what I'll do is I'll tuck in the roof so that way pulling the protective cover over And then that way you got everything tucked in and then I'll start to zip it. Once you have it zipped up and it's good to go, we'll undo this, uh, this bail pin again. You may have to wiggle the arm just so that way you can get it free. I'm gonna undo this bail pin and I'm gonna slide it all the way across and into the lock position. Once it's there, you're gonna go ahead and reinstall this bail pin and then I'm gonna go around to the trailer to the other side and reinstall this bail pin here. That way it just doesn't come loose while we're driving down the road. Pull the bail right over the pin, locks it in place, and you are good to go.